I'm standing here on Honolihi Beach in Hilo, Hawaii on the big island here. It's beautiful outside. We're in Hawaii and we're standing, we are surrounded by black sand. So we're on one of the black sand beaches. So what makes black sand unique? What is it made out of? How does it happen? Well, let's dive into it a little bit. Black sand beaches are found near volcanoes and they consist of basalt fragments. So basalt is a common igneous rock or a volcanic rock. They come from the volcanoes. It's actually made from the lava. We'll go into that in just a little bit, but it's safe to touch. It's safe to walk on. You can go swimming in it. People are surfing out here, taking in the waves in beautiful Hawaii, but it is black. So black absorbs more sun. It gets hotter. If you're walking on white sand in the summer, it can get really hot and your feet almost feel like they're burning. So with black sand, since it absorbs more of the solar radiation, more of the sun, it gets even hotter. So you gotta be careful to not burn your feet. You gotta be walking really quickly or make sure that you're wearing shoes or something protective. These black sand beaches are formed when lava interacts with the seawater and causes it to explode. This rapid cooling of basalt breaks it up and spreads it out into many different sizes. We've got big basalt rocks, we've got smaller basalt rocks, and we've got tiny basalt rocks and little pebbles and sand that comes out to make this beautiful location. It happens when the basalt gets exposed near or at the surface of a planet or a moon. So not only do we find these here on Earth, but we find basalt rocks all throughout the solar system on the rocky planets and moons. We find them on Mercury, Venus, here on Earth, Mars, even on the asteroid belt on the dwarf planet Vesta. And in our own moon, up in the night sky, in the day sky, you see the moon has basalts. And also Io, one of the moons of Jupiter, the most volcanically active body in our solar system, has basalts on its surface. The water was warm and the waves looked great, so I got myself a surfboard and headed out into the water. As I was pedaling out, I was actually right next to a sea turtle. Unfortunately, you can't see that here. 